Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to add social media icons to your WordPress website in 2023. Social media icons are a great way to connect with your audience and drive traffic to your social media profiles. By adding these icons to your website, you can encourage visitors to engage with you on various social platforms. So let's dive in and learn how to add social media icons to your WordPress website. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other preferred browser that you have in your PC. Of course, once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type WordPress and uh, press.com and hit the enter button. That will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of WordPress. Of course, if you have an account, make sure to go and log in into it. For me, I'm already logged in into my account. And if you don't have an account, make sure to just go and create your account. As simple as that. And then, of course, you'll even have to uh, log in to your local host. For me, I'm already logged in into my local host also so simply just go and uh, log into your local host of course you'll be able to do so if you have your domain name in wordpress so make sure to go and get yours once you're here of course you'll have to install and activate a social media plugin the first step of course is to install and activate a social media plugin on your wordpress website so once you are on this local host uh, dashboard on wordpress navigate to the plugin section you will find this here on this left panel as you can see just hover it and go and click on add new of course, now you'll have to search for a social media plugin, such as there is some options such as like simple social icons and install the one that suits your need once it's installed and activates the plugin. So as an example, let's just search here for social media icons as an example and wait a bit until we see here a lot of plugins that we can choose from. As you can see, there is the social media share buttons and social share and icons. You can see share buttons and pop out share icon for social media sharing and there's the, even this social media icon social icon widgets and a lot of other plugins so you can choose whatever suits your need of course you can do your own research about all these plugins if you want but as you can see you can always see the best uh, rated app with the, a lot of uh, people rating it as you can see this uh, probably almost five stars with more than five thousand people and sell it so simply let's just go and choose this one as an example of course if you want to read more about it you can simply click on it and here you'll be able to read all the features about it see the rating exactly see who rates this one star you can e even see the reviews if you want and as you can see you'll find here all the features about it the description the installation the frequently asked questions change log screenshots and even reviews if you want so as we said once it's installed of course you can simply go and hit this activate button now you can configure this social media plugin. So after activating the plugin, of course, you'll need to configure the settings. Locate the plugin in your WordPress dashboard after it's activated. As you can see, you can simply allow and continue for me. I'm just going to skip. As you can see, you can even go to premium on this plugin. So simply we can, if you didn't find it, you can always click on plugin and you will find this right here. So you can simply click on settings and you will get yourself into it as we said. Once you click on settings, you'll have to enter the URLs of your social media profiles of the or for the platforms you want to display icons for, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. And you can even customize the appearance and style of the icon to match your website design. As you can see, we can start here by which icons do you want to show on your website or site. When you open this, as you can see, you will find here a lot of social media icons. So simply select whatever you want. As an example, I want my Facebook, my Twitter, uh, click OK, I want to activate it. So uh, Facebook, Twitter's example, maybe YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, maybe WhatsApp, Telegram, Pinter, Pinterest, uh, I don't know, we can add whatever you want to add. You will probably find this right here. And as you can see, if you have premium, you'll be able, able to even add those. As you can see in our premium plugin with add icons for those also. So make sure to get uh, premium if you want this. And as an example, once we finish this, of course, you can even see the price of pri premium if you want from here. As an example, if you want to know the pricing just from this video. So as you can see, the premium is going to be for $30 and you will have to pay it simply once you don't have to pay it like per month or something like that. And of course, what do you want the icons to do? 
so simply as you can see when clicked on users can subscribe so for us we didn't choose this as an example this one so emails which action should the email icon do so once someone click on the email icon should it automize updates for subscribers or contact me or link it to a certain page or share by email but those three options will need a feature or premium feature so make sure to get so if you want to of course email icon there's email uh, plus follow text and there's even the follow it icon on the facebook option there's three options available as you can see the facebook icon can perform several actions pick below which one it should perform if you select several options the users can select what they want to do and of course you can see an example from here if you want to by simply opening this and you will see the example if the page loads as you can see it's locked it's blocked now so i don't know why but anyway the facebook icon should uh, allow users to visit my facebook page you can select this and simply uh, enter the url of your facebook page right here you can simply go and control v your or paste the link right here of your social or facebook page then you can even like my blog on facebook a plus one if you don't want to you can simply disable this option and you can even share my blog with friends on facebook if you want to make sure to enable it if you don't make sure to disable it. there's this follow me on facebook but this will need the premium feature there is the switcher of course as you can see the switcher icon can perform several actions and as we as you said if you want them to visit your twitter enable this follow my twitter enable this and tweet about my page uh, enable this and here you'll have to enter the url of your twitter and follow the twitter so simply here you'll have to add your twitter name and follow my uh, tweet about my page here you'll have to write whatever you want uh, them to tweet about so simply just go and change this however you want you can even uh, want them or if you want them to have twitter cards but this will require a premium feature as well once you finish of course with all of this make sure to save and close it as you can see now where shall uh, shall the icons be displayed so of course there's floating over your website's page show them via widgets place via source code and your theme he header show icons after posts and or sticky bars and there's a lot of options but some of them requires premium as well once you finish again click on save and you will normally be good to go as, as an example let me just choose this floating uh, over your website so you can choose whatever suits you here how do you want them to to show that so let's say an example center top and here we are once we save we'll be good to go after we click on save all settings of course there's some optional settings if you want to miss with that be my guest just go and do it by your own but it's just optional it's not needed for the moment as you can see what design do you want display count and a lot of other stuff so once you customize the social media icons you will have to test your social media icons so it's important to test them to ensure they are functionally correctly so visit your website and click on the icons to verify that they directly or they direct you to the respective social media profiles and make sure the links open in new tabs or window so visitors can easily return to your website so if you've reached this point of this video uh, so you've successfully added your social media icons to your wordpress website and 2023 by incorrupting or by incorporation sorry these icons you can encourage visitors to connect with you and on various social media platforms and expand your online presence of course remember to install and configure a social media plugin and add the icons to your website using a short code as an example or widgets and customize their appearance and test the functionality of it if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to our channel for more wordpress related content thanks for watching and happy social media icon adding and i will see you in the next one